hello. Let's go over um the hammer today. The hammer. So not gonna lie, the hammer is probably one of my favorites. Actually, I mean, I like the chain blades quite a bit, and the war pike quite a bit. Don't have a lot of experience on the sword or the axe quite yet, or repeaters, but the hammer. I like the hammer. Hammer's cool. Hammer's way cool. Frustrating, but cool. You can do a lot with the hammer. It's pretty versatile. But it's meant for smashing. <laughs> There's also um, quite a bit more combos, moves, maneuvers, things to do. So real quick, one of the things on the hammer, though, before we get into combos, just food for thought. Um, don't beat on tails. I mean, you can... But you're really not doing much. The hammer excels at stagger damage, the blue numbers, towards incapacitating the behemoths, right? Knocking them over, stunning them. You don't get those numbers from the tail. You can still, if you're like built for doing massive part damage and you want to get a tail piece and you love the hammer, sure, sure. But if you're in a group fight, your primary position should be around the head, the head and the legs. Um, there is a perk. We'll go over those actually really quick since they don't really effect combat there's a um a mod weighted not weighted crown um yeah yeah weighted crown stagger damage is no longer halved when attacking the legs so if you use this and you beat on legs you can knock them out pretty quickly as well uh but also you get more damage on the head this allows you to um if you do your jump attack, which we'll show you in a little bit, you get increased damage. If you do a jump attack and land on the head, you do double that increased damage. So the head, you're supposed to be on the head, the head and the legs. Uh, this increases your ammo to six. I actually prefer the head strike. I play with them differently all the time. Um, depend on my mood, who I'm playing with, what we're fighting. Then you have two different uh, abilities, your explosive shotgun type thing, which we'll show. And then this buffs the team. All right, real quick, we got the keyboard up on the screen so you can see my button clicks and movements, okay? For you console users, left click is basically your light attack, right click is your heavy attack. If you need a refresher for comparison, you can see it right here Look on your screen for your buttons. Same thing, light, heavy. Also, really quick, um, I have remapped dodge from spacebar, because spacebar is jump. Uh, to the middle mouse button. So the middle mouse button clicking is my dodge, FYI, for what it's worth. All right, start off with the first one. Just light, light, light. It's a horizontal hammers, three swings, sideways, sideways, swing. Pretty simple. You pretty much, just with all the weapons, you queue up the next move, um... Towards the end of your first swing, your second swing, third swing, right? Um, wait for it to be over. It'll still work. You can delay it a little bit longer. And you can spam it. So if you really want to do your combos and you're, and you're waiting for opportunities, you can be a little... You can pause a little bit to see if it's still safe. But... Because he hesitates a little bit before the combo is over. Now, remember the first attack standing still is a swipe. Now, if you're walking forward, an overhead poke, and then an overhead. It's really good for single damage. If you're going for the head and only the head, it's awesome. If you get in under, like, let's say, Charog's armpit, and you've got his body and his sacks and his legs, uh, the horizontals are good because you're hitting everything. Oh, and by the way, you only need to be walking for the first hit. You just have to engage the first overhead. The rest of it maintains the single target. So walk forward, hit, release forward, poke, overhead. Boom. And that was the second combo. Lunging strikes. Repeating uppercuts is also really good. Especially if you're low, below, like uh, uh, Pengar or Helium. So regular horizontal walk forward, up. And up. You only need to engage the second swing by walking forward. Horizontal. Walk forward. Release forward. Bam.
Okay, so let's go into the heavy attacks. The heavy attacks consume shotgun ammo. If you look at the top, you have canisters. I have six because of my mod. You normally have four. They're clear and see-through because they are empty. There's a reload button. Reloads. You can do it while moving. Okay. There's a sweet spot. For those of you that have played Gears of War, there's a sweet spot, that little white bar at the top. If you press the reload button again, inside of it, it's a faster reload. You can cut the time in half, okay? But if you screw it up, they will do it while moving. Yep. Get rid of those. Do it roots you in place, okay? So if you do it incorrectly, you press the reload button a second time when you're not in that white area, boom. It puts you so you can get hit by damage. It's not a big deal, uh, but you can get hit by damage. So, what do you do with the shotgun? Well, you can shoot things very close range. It does minimal damage. That's also how you boop. Ember main is charging you. You can just sit here and wait and bam. And he'll flippity floppity behind you. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, if you're sprinting and you press the heavy attack to jump, from the jump, you can then do a an attack. Boom. Okay. Remember, there's a mod that if you land a hit from the jump attack, you get bonus damage. If you land a headshot from the jump attack, you get double the bonus damage. You can also double jump. So double double heavy attack. That can be used to jump over behemoths to get to the other side. Or if they're moving around, you can shoot up the side of them to get to the head faster. It does consume two shells. So got evasive blast really quick. This is a dodge, okay? It's also good for booping. So if you have a different ability equipped where you can't shoot, you could always double. You have to be moving in a direction, so you have to be moving. Double tap it. Takes two shells. Okay. But whatever comes close to you will get booped. It leaves damage. Those explosions are damage. Uh, you don't have iframes during this, by the way, either. So if you try to dodge a behemoth and like that, you have a, you have iframes at the beginning of your roll. You don't have iframes during this dodge. But you can boot. Okay, let's go over some of the, the, the complex things about the about the hammer. So concussive salvo is the shot, right? That I was showing. You shoot, shoot, shoot. Or you can charge it up. You hold it. it. Starts loading all of your shots. Now you can't hold it forever. It will shoot automatically. Okay. One of the things you can do is while you're loading your shots, you can actually one of the things you can do while charging though. So you're loading it up, loading it up, loading it up, loading it up. Behemoth moves. Okay. They're charged. You'll notice now they're not empty, but they're more see-through than normal. Those five shots. The sixth shot is not loaded. So next time that I blow my load, it shoots all of them at a lot. It'll do a lot more damage. Not game-breaking damage, but it does more damage. So you can preload your shots if you like. Now, also, if you have ammo on your normal swings, you can what's called priming it. It does it right here. Primed strikes. So before you hit, you can hit heavy. Okay. You notice that it consumed a charge. So you go light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. All three strikes are going to do serious damage, but it costs three charges to do all three hits. Another thing you notice that when you prime your attacks, it prolongs the time it takes to do the full combo. So in a game where you're not able to get off full combos at all times because the behemoth is going to attack you and you need to stop swinging so you can dodge. Um, sometimes priming all of your hits prevents you from getting to your final swing. See, there's a delay. It delays it out even longer to get it completed. Now, another thing you can do 
You can prime all attacks, by the way. So the uh, Aether Slam. It's a, it's a finisher on all your combos. So if you look at the horizontal hammers, the lunging strikes, and the repeating uppercuts, at the end of all of those combos, you can use heavy attack and you'll do a jump slam. It'll consume all of your shots. So if you have all six ammo, you're going to do six massive explosions at the end. So for instance, we have six shots charged up. We're not going to prime anything. So one, two, three, jump, bam. Look at that. Look at that, and it goes a distance too. Now, if you land it to hit on the target, the behemoth, it'll automatically refill all of your shots and they'll be supercharged. So they'll be even more powerful for priming attacks and for the next big explosion, the big Aether Slam. Now that we're on empty, um, you can also reload while swinging. So uh, you hit the Q button or your special button, same thing you do to um, reload, but you do it while swinging. Swing, reloads. Reload. 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 Now, the god combo, from what I've heard from people, and people come in chat and they're like, hey, can you do this? What that is, is, and I can't, I'm not very good at the timing, um, because there's a weird timing between reloading and priming, but basically if you're, you're full, let's see if I can, let's see if I can do it. The idea is to prime and reload. Prime and reload, prime and reload. This extends the time it takes to complete your combo significantly. Um, in times where I can get the fourth hit off, there's no way in hell I can get the fourth hit off. The big Aether Slam, which is what I would prefer to get off versus priming and reloading. It takes how long to reload? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So the idea of um, prime that, reload, jeez. Boom, there you go. Um, it makes it, it makes it quite a bit longer. It is tricky, it's doable. Um, and that way what it, it ultimately what it does is it allows you to prime three attacks and then have full ammo for your Aether Slam. So it's it does the most amount of damage, but it makes the combo longer. So if the if the behemoth has a long stagger time, you can you can let it rip, right? But if you're fighting something that barely stays staggered, something that moves around, something that attacks quickly, you're not going to pull that off. And again, I have no problem. It takes no time. It takes no time. And you can do it while moving. So if I'm readjusting or I'm running up around to get to the head, I can reload. It's not, it's, it's never a problem. I'm never like, wow, I really wish I'd reload more often. There's one other combo that is not listed that used to frustrate the heck out of me because a lot of times... I want to do single target overhead hit. This is the combo I prefer to do. I don't necessarily, especially if I'm on the head, if I'm on the head and I'm not hitting lots of body parts, I don't like doing this combo. Okay? So, if you attack out of a roll or a dodge, okay? Just like all the other weapons, it starts your chain. It'll automatically default to the horizontal strikes. So even though I'm still holding forward, it goes straight to horizontals. Okay? So if you come out of a dodge, you're always going to go to horizontals. I used to get really frustrated because I was trying to do overheads. And it took me forever to figure out why I was constantly, I'm like, I'm holding forward. Why am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. And usually with the hammer, this is, this is how you like to open. Not a tip, because most of the time, a lot of the behemoths will smack you as you come in. Been a while since I've used the hammer. Horizontal, look, I got three hits there. On sides, it's really nice to do horizontals. But if you were like on the head of him, I'm gonna want to do overheads. See, couldn't do a three hit, let alone a four hit there. Two reloads in one combo. There we go. There, now he's almost stunned. Boom, sit down. One. 
There you go, there's a four hitter. Here, I'll show you the double jump. Look, I did damage to him. <laughs> yeah, hammer's cool. Hammer's cool. Legs and head. That's your that's your home if you're using a hammer. Legs and head. And you can you can build builds that are effective for both uh, part damage and or stagger damage or combination. If you want to go pure stagger damage, your job should be really sticking to the head. Um, and then other behemoths that are harder to land headshots consistently stay on the legs and equip the uh, mod that'll give you more stagger damage on legs. All right, hopefully that helps you with the combos and uh, how the hammer works. I remember the hammer is the first one that I started when I picked the game up. I didn't understand half the stuff that the menu was telling me. Um, I understood how to do combos. I play fighting games. I've got arcade sticks. I get all that. But reading some of this stuff, I didn't quite understand how, like, the primed... Does it even say you can reload? Yeah, you can inline reload. I'm covering it up. Whoop. Boom. So, but, um, like, Aether Slam, the Concussive Salvo, being able to charge it, uh, being able to stock it in, again, with the dive rolls, the dodges into attacks, preload you for horizontal hammers only. So, I don't know. I love the hammer. Maybe you guys do too. Maybe you don't. It's slow. It's like a truck. It's got some cool combos. It's got a lot of cool abilities. When you fight Embermain and nobody has weighted strikes and nobody brings a hammer, it is horrible. <laughs> so, maybe this will help you with the hammer or be more comfortable to hammer in a situation where you're like, well, I really want to use the sword, but we're fighting Embermain, so I'll, use, I'll, I'll take one for the team and use the hammer. If you don't like the hammer. I love the hammer. I, it's never taken one for the team for me. I'll always step up and use the hammer. Anyways, I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Gumby between the hours of 8 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Lately, well, since Dauntless came out, we've been staying up way, way past 2 a.m. playing. I do play a few other games, but mainly Dauntless right now. And with that, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.